Hey guys, quick follow up on the Sylvania Halo Lights set. One, there was speculation about what the picture prompter control is. That is fine tuning. Somebody found some info about this set in a technical publication. It was a preview to service text to <laughs> let them know what they were going to be facing in the near future. So that, <laughs> that explained how that worked. Now what I want to do is test the picture tube. So it's a 21 CQP4, which is a first generation 110 degree deflection angle CRT. Before this, they were 90 degrees. So going from 90 to 110 meant steeper deflection angles, so shorter picture tubes. But the base on this is not that small base with the pins coming straight out. It's more like an octal tube. I'll show you that after I'm done testing. I don't want to uh, distress this any more than I have to by taking the connector on and off repeatedly. And notice the high voltage connector. Another thing I've heard people say is a sign of cheapness is to just use a little pincher thing rather than having a cup on it. It's very common for the era. You see there's some discoloration around there. They put on some insulating uh, like varnish around it to well, prevent any corona discharge. But yeah, that's it. There's no, <laughs> there's no protection there. Just a little bit of insulation and there's bare metal leads coming up. Anyways, 6.3 volt filament. And here we go. Oh, it would help if I plug my tester into the wall. Alright, here we go now. Hum is good, it means it's drawing current. Ooh, really hard to see because there's stuff all over this from the yoke, but there is glowing down in there. There, there you go. Oh, and these lights are coming right up. So we want two half moons on the left hand side and boy we got them quick. And we're in the green. This tester is on the conservative side because I've never calibrated it so I know that if I'm anywhere down in the green it's going to be fine. Let's just leave some testing cut off. Oh yeah. Which makes me wonder, is this a replacement? Because this is testing really good. Oh yeah, it's a channel master. This is a, re this is a replacement. There, that's what the base looks like, which you might not be familiar with because they didn't use it for very long, about a, two years max, I'd say. It's seven pins, but they're beefy. So by switching to the pins that come straight out of the glass, which I think was a bit of a technological innovation. So if you see miniature tubes, here's what I'm talking about. Let's pop this guy out. I'm talking about this, where the leads just go straight through the glass. That really reduced manufacturing and material costs. But picture tubes, up until now, always had this Bakelite base with the leads coming through, soldered onto that. Just after these came out, they switched to this. So, when I mentioned earlier, uh, earlier segment about these being able to be used in a predicta, well, predictas he used this type, type. This has this big thing. So, one, they're, they're longer, but also, obviously, um, you're going to need an adapter, which will make it stick it out even further. So, uh, anyways, just a little bit of history for you there. And that little thing, a little shorting bar, that will be for focus. So these use electrostatic focus. There's no electromagnet or permanent magnet around there to focus it. Two ways to do it. One, you can run a wire out and go to a control or a switch to give you several options for focusing, or you just short it to one of the other pins that has a voltage that's good enough. Usually you either want to ground it or put it at the same voltage as G2, which would be around 400 volts. And usually there's not much change in between. Although recently I saw somebody working on a set that had electrostatic focus with a control. And I asked, hey, has anybody ever experienced this? Like going from 0 to 400 volts, is there a smooth change in the focus like you get with the magnetic focus? And the consensus seemed to be um, of the few folks that had ever seen one. And now it's, there's not quite that much change. So I think that's why you get by with just doing this. 
Again, save cost. You don't have to run a wire. You don't have to have a control or a switch. You just short two pins together and you're done. <laughs> so that's what that's all about. All right, so um, I can't work on this now, but uh, I am very psyched to. And I know you, you want to know if the halo light bulb is good. Sooner than later, so do I. And yes, it, it probably is a separate circuit. But notice there's no control on this for the halo light. Uh, looking at the service info, there were three flavors of it. One had a variable control, like a dimmer. I think another had a couple positions. I think this might be the simplest version where it's just on all the time, or there might be some uh, shorting thing inside, like a jumper, that you can disconnect to just, to just disable it. I don't think I actually have a switch or a knob anywhere for it, but I won't know that for certain until I dig further. So could I try it without the rest of the set? Yeah, if I could trace out the wiring, I'm still not sure, quite sure what the transformer is for it. If I could figure all that out, yeah, I should be able to just hot wire right into the bulb to see if it's good and bypass all this stuff. I just don't know where the connections are for it. I suspect it's, it's somewhere down there or up there. Oh, I see, okay, it's these two wires. Oh, <laughs> well that answers that. Somebody has disconnected it. Ah, it does go there. Yeah, so I was thinking this might be the audio output transformer. No, that's that's got to be the halo light transformer. Or, or is it? Only a few two. Oh, there are no, there are wires on the other side. Okay, yeah, I see them coming back there. So a little bell transformer. So if I'm right, this would be the high voltage and it's going right to that connector there, which is for the halo light. So somebody decided to unplug it, which, so yeah, this is the cheap version. So it's either on, if you want it off, you pull that plug. <laughs> Alrighty, uh, Jupiter wants to see it light up too. Well, that is going to be it for now. Just don't uh, have the time. Got to get ready for the convention. There will be loads of footage, so be tuned for that next week. Thanks for watching.